Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to solve an example based on block diagram reduction technique. So the block diagram of an automatic control system is shown and we just need to reduce the block diagram into simpler form. So this is the block diagram which is given and by the help of block diagram reduction technique, we have to reduce the block diagram into simpler form. So let's start with the block diagram reduction technique. So let us analyze this whole system in a more depth and find out the point of initiation from which we have to start reducing this block diagram. So here is the G2 and G3 which are connected in series. But this takeoff point is creating a problem here. So if we shift this takeoff point in the right hand side then the G2 and G3 come in series and here is feedback system also will set up. Similarly here G2 and G3 are in series if we shift this takeoff point after G3. So our first step is shifting the takeoff point after G3 <coughs> so let us redraw the circuit here is an R that is applied as an input here is a summing point here is G1 here is a summing point since G1 and G2 is in series therefore its equivalent will now become G2 G3 and we shifted this takeoff point after the block that's why 1 over G3 will be come in this branch so here a branch will have again equals to 1 over G3 because it is shifted after G3 that's why the gain G3 come in the denominator Now similarly we draw the bottom diagram that is summer after this here is G1 which is being connected to the summer and here is G2 and G3 are in series so the equivalent will now become G2 G3. And also we shifted this takeoff point after G3. So 1 over G3 will introduce in this branch. So here and another gain that is 1 over G3 will come. <coughs> and it is directly been connected here. And here is a one feedback system that is this branch with negative feedback and here also is a negative feedback this is positive and this is positive and it is negative so this is this is our simplified circuit our system since G2 and G3 are in series that's why we write G2 G3 as a whole and we shifted this takeoff point after this G3 that's why 1 over G3 come in the denominator similarly G2 and G3 is in series that's why we write G2 G3 and we shifted this takeoff point after G3 that's why this 1 over G3 come here and we draw this feedback branches as it is 
so this is our sim simplified block diagram now let us analyze this block diagram and try to figure out our next step sorry it is g4 and it is c so what will be the next step here there is another feedback so here g2 and g3 is having a feedback system that is a negative feedback system having the feedback gain equals to 1 and here also g2 and g3 having the feedback system of gain equals to 1 so we know that the transfer function for the feedback negative feedback system is equal to g over 1 plus g h now if we substitute the value of g that is g2 g3 in this we get g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 and what is the value of h h value is nothing but 1 if we write 1 then it doesn't matter so the equivalent gain of this negative system is nothing but this so let us redraw the whole system so our step number 2 is nothing but solving the negative feedback system so here is R that is applied as an input and here is a summing point and here is an another summing point that is been g1 to g1 and the g1 is then connected with the feedback system and we evaluated the gain of the feedback system as g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 and this gain is being connected with the common branch similarly this summing point is also being connected with g1 and the g1 is now fed to the same gain that is g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 and it is also been connected here here is g4 and here is c now here is one more branch that is having gain equals to 1 over g3 is connected with negative feedback directly to this branch and also another branch having the gain 1 over g3 is connected directly so this is all about the simplified block diagram now let us analyze it so what will be the next step since this g1 and g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 is in series combination so we can say that these two blocks gain will get multiplied with each other and the equivalent gain will become g1 g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 we get it after multiplication of these two blocks and also here the same gain will apply now let us redraw the circuit solving 
the blocks in series we get r here is the equivalent gain that is g1 g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 and here is another summing point that is having the same gain that is g1 g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 now it has been connected together and here is g4 and here is c now there are two branches that is connected that is 1 over g3 through this and here is also 1 over g3 with negative polarity now let us consider this feedback system so here the gain is g1 g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 and the feedback gain is nothing but 1 over g3 so this is a negative feedback system and also it is also forming a negative feedback system since we know that the overall transfer function for the negative feedback system is nothing but g over 1 plus g h if we substitute the value of g and h and simplify it then we will get the gain that is equals to g1 g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 plus g1 g2 this is the equivalent gain that we will find by substituting the values of g and h in this formula now let us redraw our whole block diagram so solving negative feedback system our block diagram will look like here is a forward path gain that will be equal to g1 g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 plus g1 g2 and also here is another forward path gain that will be equal to g1 g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 plus g1 g2 these two are directly connected with g4 and it is our output now these two are connected in parallel combination and the equivalent of these two are then connected with series with g4 so let's have a look at the parallel combination of these two blocks so what will be the equivalent gain after solving these two blocks which are connected in parallel so if two blocks are connected in parallel then it will its gain will become twice that is gain of this block plus gain of this block so it will become twice of the 
gain of one block so g1 g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 plus g1 g2 why i write 2 here because the both the gain of blocks are same that's why we have to add up both the blocks that's why i have written twice here now this equivalent gain is now given as a series combination with this g4 so if two blocks are in series with each other then what will happen the multiplication will happen so this equivalent gain will get multiplied with this g4 so our final gain will now become 2 into g1 g2 g3 and now it is g4 over 1 plus g2 g3 plus g1 g2 so this is the equivalent gain or the transfer function thank you